How can God's message be preached if the messengers aren't sent? How can the faith of God's nation be guarded? For those whom God has chosen to be his own, he places a leader to make his message fully known. July 27, 1914, world war signifying the end approaching. God sent his messenger in the Far East. The Church of Christ re-emerged in the Philippines. Brother Felix Manalo was sent to preach the true words He was God's instrument and he was never left alone He knew that he could depend on God To give him strength and defend from persecution Danger, men with evil intentions Troubles, hardships, those conspiring against him Mocked and mistreated, seen as a lowly man But God upheld him with his mighty hand I have other sheep too they are not in this flock here. I must lead them also. They will listen to my voice. In the future, there will be one flock and one shepherd. From one man to a whole nation. Souls led back to God, now heirs to salvation. The time came. He needed to prepare a successor. And one man was unanimously elected. Brother Aranyo Manalo. April 12, 1963, a day of grief for the church in her entirety. The messenger had been laid to rest, but God's work would continue on. For just as Moses had prepared Joshua, Brother Iranya was trained by the messenger to lead the flock. And so, God's nation wasn't abandoned and keeps marching on towards the promised land. We're almost there. From the far east will I bring your offspring. And from the far west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not keep them back. Bring my sons from afar, and my daughters from the ends of the earth.